Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my wrap up. It's going to be very short because I only read two books this month since I did spend most of my energy planning my NaNoWriMo novel and I also completed my 50 book challenge for the year. I'm letting it slide for this month. Now I'm just going to share the two books that I read with you guys and let you know what I thought of them. Both of these were actually rereads and then I did start reading a new book but I didn't finish it and I'm in the middle of reading another book which I will also talk about. The first book that I read or reread I should say is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I love this book so much as you can tell because I, I tabbed it a lot and Snape was... I was gonna go on a Snape rant but you know what? Not today. I love Sirius. I love Harry. I love how much darker this book is compared to the other two. I just, I love this book. I love everything about this book and I just, ugh, it's a favorite. You guys know how much I love Harry Potter. I mean, this really shouldn't even have to be said on my channel at this point anymore. After that, I read Agatha Christie's and then there were none. This was another reread. The first time I read this, it was for my French class in high school. But for the reread, I obviously wasn't asked like suspenseful as it was like the reading experience was for me the first time however even though I know who the culprit was and I remembered vaguely what had happened I didn't remember a lot of little parts and going back and rereading it all these tabs are actually like hints to show you who the culprit is and when you reread it you realize how obvious it was the whole time and it wasn't even through the clues that Agatha Christie put inside of the novel itself it was just in the structure of the novel and I found it super super fascinating I feel like if I tell you guys what it is it might give away who the culprit is okay so this is gonna be a spoiler if you have if you want to read this skip ahead I guess I'm not gonna say explicitly who but it will be like a giant clue to tell you who the culprit of this is but basically this keeps switching from point of view to point of view of the 10 different strangers that are in this island and at the end I realized that the only point of view we didn't really get to see from really except from the very very beginning was the person who had orchestrated the whole thing and it was so obvious it's so obvious but when you're reading it you just don't realize what is going on and then in the end you're like oh my gosh it all makes sense I really really liked it I do definitely want to read more of Agatha Christie's novels I don't read a lot of mystery but I am a fan of this and I am actually a fan of the Hercule I can't my French pronunciation sucks guys but the Hercule Poirot series the PBS one I actually watch it sometimes on my free time because for a really long time we never had cable and one of the only good channels that we could watch was PBS and that's actually where I started watching Doctor Who as well I watched Doctor Who and I would watch Hercule Poirot so I do really want to get into more Agatha Christie novels so hopefully I will be able to read some in the future like these type of books aren't really things that I have like on priority for my TBR but they are things that I would like to sprinkle here and there you know, as I'm reading other things that are more my taste, I guess. I did really enjoy it and I do recommend it if you're a fan of mystery. Now for the two books that I'm currently reading. First is Siege and Storm by Leigh Bardugo. I'm at the same place that I was the last time I told you guys, I think. I do still really want to finish it this month, but because I'm doing NaNoWriMo, I'm not sure how much reading I'm going to be able to do this month. But hopefully I'll be able to read it by December, hopefully. And then the book that I started reading recently was Sweet Evil by Wendy Higgins. And I actually picked this up because I didn't end up reading any of my spooky reads. I only read Agatha Christie, I think was the only spooky one. I was trying to decide between Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and A Monster Calls. But for some reason this just called out to me because I've heard that this is a really fast paced, addictive novel. I was trying to get at least three books for the month instead of just two didn't happen but I, I am really really liking it but it's definitely not as addictive as I thought it was going to be I thought it was going to be a lot more like Angel Fall which you guys know for those books 
I flew through them. So I was hoping that this was gonna be like that. It's not exactly. Well, I am really enjoying it, but it's not as addictive as I wanted it to be. And that is it guys for my wrap up. Very, very short. Didn't really read much. Also, um, if you guys are interested, I am doing NaNoWriMo vlogs over on my second channel, which I will have linked down below. And I'll also have like all my NaNo information if any of you guys are participating and you wanna follow me. Uh, my Pinterest board, which I'm actually pretty proud of. I do need to expand it a little bit more but what I have now, particularly my characters, I really, really like them. But anyway, so that is going to be it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you in a few days, hopefully. Bye, guys. This is going to be the Halloween book tag, which was originally created by Naomi, the book lover.